My name is Hussein Fuad Mahmoud. I was born in Mombasa, Nyali. I am 20 years of age. Growing up in Mombasa is what I can say has shaped me into who I am. I went to SOS Haman Minor Primary School as a toddler, where I undertook my eight years in primary school. I have three siblings, an older sister, Haja Fuad, who is currently studying medicine in Australia, a younger sister, Haja Fatma Fuad, who is at Moya Sulka Barak from 4 this year, and the youngest being Halil Fuad, who is in grade 3 right now at Sir Saman Minor Primary School. I love my family so much, and I can say that they're the source of my inspiration. After my Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, I was selected to go to Moya High School Kabarak. At Moya High School Kabarak, this is where things are totally different. It was my first time ever moving away from Mombasa and going to see a new world with people that I'd never thought I'd ever spend my time with. At Kabarak, I met several intellectual brilliant students who were good competition and always urged me to work harder and harder to excel in my examinations and to excel in life. Uh, to say, my favorite subject has always been English and mathematics. I really enjoyed the literature classes where we did fictional stories that would inspire us to become better people. After completing my Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams, I managed to score an A of 82 points. I know Hussein is getting where he belongs. Hussein has to work among the top most students in this world. He's a top brain in Kenya. So I want to see how best he can perform in USA. I got a calling letter from Equity Bank inviting me for the Equity Leaders program. I was really excited for this because I'd always dreamt of working at Equity Bank. So I learned about the Equity Leaders program from my friends who uh, had finished the KCC exams many years before me and had done and accomplished many, many things. I was posted to current retail branch and at current retail branch, I worked as a retail teller and later was promoted to a corporate teller. So working at EQT Bank was life changing. I remember earning my first salary and immediately sending the money back home for my parents to, to find a way to buy at least a gift from my younger brother who has always expected so much from me. The EQT Leaders Program has several programs that it employs to help students go to the university of their dreams, where they brought several role equity alumni that were selected to these prestigious universities came to mentor us from my interactions with, with these alumni. I noticed that John Hopkins was a very good university and it provided almost everything that I required. Proper research labs, good funding. You represent the ideals of Kenya in nurturing young thinkers and leaders shaped by a strong value of our system. It is education that is offered by very evolved universities. They give you the confidence. They enable you to believe in yourself and to believe that you don't have to depend on others. My mom and dad have sacrificed a lot, not only in, in funds, but also in their time, to try and give me the best education possible. I am very proud of my son. He's made us very proud, believe you me. We pray for him to be a good ambassador. In Mombasa, we are used to being told that we are waiting for mangoes to fall from the tree. But this time, we've gone for the mangoes. We are climbing that tree. The sky is the limit, as I've always told my son, where there are no boundaries. Where you are going, you want to have a father, or you will be alone, you are grown up. What I'm supposed to say, as a on behalf of the family is to give you our blessings for you to succeed, to achieve your goals, okay, your vision, okay, and to be kind. I've always believed that uh, we are in this world to find out to give back to our society through education and technology. I intend to pursue a course in pre-medicine in preparation for my medical degree for my graduate course where I'll further specialize to become a neurosurgeon in Kenya.